हेलो एवरी वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माई चैनल आई एम किशोर आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो मैं लास्ट वीडियो आई टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट ए आई मशीन लर्निंग रिसर्च लैब दैट इज देयर इन आई एस सी बैंगलोर एंड इन दैट वीडियो आई डिस्कस हुई चेर द प्रोफेसर आर वर्किंग ऑन डिफरेंट एरियाज ऑफ ए आई एंड मशीन लर्निंग एंड हुई द लैब्स दैट इज देयर हुई इज डूइंग एक्टिव रिसर्च इन इन दीज एरियाज इन आई एस सी बैंगलोर नाउ इन टू डेज वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉकिंग अबाउट आई आई टी बॉम्बे एंड आई टॉकिंग अबाउट हुई चेर द प्रोफेसर दे आर वर्किंग एक्टिवली इन डिफरेंट एरियाज ऑफ ए आई एंड मशीन लर्निंग सो इफ यू आर सम वन हुई बी जॉइनिंग आई आई टी बॉम्बे फॉर योर एम टेक डिग्री or for your phd degree and you are willing to work in ai and machine learning domain then these are the professors that you can think of now again the disclaimer that i have given in my last video that the set of professors i'll be talking about in this video that's completely based on my little understanding of this field and that is my opinion that these professors are doing good research in in their respective areas but that doesn't mean that you know i want to defend the other professors who are working uh, maybe in the similar domain maybe i am not you know i am not familiar with their names uh, who is working also in the ai machine learning domain so that's why i haven't you know kept their name in my list but there is no intention to defend so that will be the content of this video so if you want to know detail about all the professors who is working on ai machine learning please stay tuned in this video and before starting the video as i always say if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon uh, so that whenever i upload a video you'll get instant notification and please like this video if you liked it with a further ado let's start into today's video so first i'll be talking about core machine learning area so if you are in iit bombay and if you want to work in core machine learning branch your first choice should be professor sunita sarabagi professor sunita sarabagi ma'am she is one of the leading researchers in india who is working on core fundamental areas of machine learning and artificial intelligence since late 90s she is actually working on databases and she has done a immense contribution in the field of databases and that's why she she was awarded infosys award in 2019 but recently she had moved to uh, ai and machine learning area and her current research spans several fields of machine learning including data analytics uh, statistics and so on so forth her current research interests are sequence models for text and time series domain adaptation effective human intervention for learning graphical model and structural learning and her publication record in recent times is really really impressive uh, she is publishing in all top ml conferences like icml iclr nifs triple ai and so and so forth so if you are interested to work in core machine learning area and if you are interested in one of these research problem that i have mentioned so you can definitely talk with her she will be the best guide possible for you working in ml and ai in iit bombay the next professor or the next researcher i'll recommend you if you are willing to work in core machine learning area is professor somin chakrabarti he is again a stalwart researcher who is working actively on different areas of machine learning data mining graph machine learning and nlp area like professor sunita ma'am professor somin chakrabarti also had worked for quite long time in databases and for his immense contribution in the field of database he also got awarded shanti swarup bhatnagar award for science and technology in 2014 but recently he also has moved to machine learning nlp and data mining areas and he is publishing aggressively again in different top venues uh, including you know nifs uh, icml iclr and top venues for uh, uh, nlp also like acl em nlp and all So, if you are interested in any of these areas, you can ob obviously talk with Professor Swamin Chakravarti, and he also will be a great researcher and and great guide uh, to be part of your M Tech project or or your PhD thesis. One thing I want to mention about Swamin Sir and Sunita Ma'am here. So, as you can understand, they are the stalwarts. They are the top-notch researcher in India, working on different areas of machine learning and AI. Their expectation bar also is very high. So, whenever they choose student for M Tech or PhD, they choose the best among the best. so that's why if you are really interested to work under them for your mtech project or phd thesis then take their course that is being offered in the semester and try to get the best uh, grade possible uh, from from those uh, from those courses so that you will actually increase your chance of getting uh, you know a, 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 a mtech project or a phd thesis uh, under them and also you know these people they they got involved a lot into into the project that will be working under under them so that's why you know uh, they also expect a lot of involvement from your side so so they expect your active participation whenever you will be doing a project under them so that's why if you are really interested to do research especially i am talking for the mtech student if you are really interested about the research and and the work uh, they are currently doing then only think about them because if you join under them and if you don't actively participate uh, in 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 the research or project work then you know that won't be helping much i mean they also will be inactive and they also you know can't help you much 
so if you are really interested to work in these areas and if you are really interested in the research then only think about these people next two professor i will be talking about is professor ganesh ramakrishnan and professor abir dev so first let's talk about professor ganesh ramakrishnan so professor ganesh uh, his area of interest is uh, you know in in many many uh, sub areas of machine learning so he is working on computer vision also he is working on speech and nlp also at the same time he is working on some fundamental problem of machine learning like subset selection problem so that's why you know he has a lot of projects across different uh, areas of machine learning so i will i'll recommend you that please visit his uh, you know web page and see what are the projects or what are the papers he is publishing his publication record is really really good he is also publishing in different top venues of machine learning computer vision and nlp at the same time so if you are really interested on these areas you can look into uh, his web page and see what are the projects that is there on the other hand professor abir is, uh, is, is a very you know young guy he is a, he is an assistant professor who has joined the institution on 2020 he is interested in graph machine learning and the fundamental problems of machine learning the core machine learning but his style of work is a bit theoretical he loves theory uh, so if you look into his uh, papers you will find there are a lot of theoretical derivation that is there uh, in the paper so that's why you know if you are interested in theoretical uh, machine learning a bit you can you can you can talk with professor abid there and if you are interested in other areas like computer vision or representation learning or deep learning this kind of areas then you can go with uh, professor ganesh ramakrishnan next i'll talk about natural language processing or nlp field so if you are in iit bombay and want to work in core nlp area your one and only choice should be professor pushpa bhattacharya Professor Pushpak is again a big name in the field of NLP, and he has done an immense contribution in the field. Uh, he is someone who has devoted his whole life in in this field. I mean, specifically for NLP field, most of the people comes to NLP after the deep learning revolution happened. That means after 2014, when deep learning comes up, many people have switched to NLP and started working. But Professor Pushpak is working on NLP since early 2000. That means from the from the from the you know from the core nlp area when there is no deep learning that time also he was working on uh, natural language processing so that's why he is a core nlp guy uh, who is a, who is devoted his whole life in the nlp field and and even even now also he is a very senior guy i mean uh, he is very uh, very senior professor there in iit bombay but even now also he is doing active research in the field of natural language processing in diff different sub areas and he is pu publishing in different top venues of nlp that means in acl even nlp triple ai so his full focus is on nlp that's why he is publishing only in the nlp venue and he is his, his research group is really really big i mean he has a big group there and every year he used to recruit a lot of phd student and lot of mtech student so that's why your chance of getting into his lab is really really high and like the other professors they took two three people this uh, professor pushpak used to take a lot of students so that's why if you are interested in nlp domain you can definitely talk with professor pushpak bhattacharya and you can start working with him next if you are interested to work in speech technology and want to do research around it then you should talk with professor preeti jyoti ma'am uh, she is also a new new uh, one in in department uh, she joined the department in 2016 and currently an associate professor in the csc department her research interest are broadly in the areas of automatic speech recognition and a uh, machine learning and applied to speech but recently you know she also started working in few areas of natural language processing or nlp as well and has published quite a few paper in top venues of nlp like you know iclr acl em nlp so if you are interested interested in speech or in nlp as such you can talk with ma'am because i have heard she is a very active researcher and and she also got involved a lot with the students and she also you know helps sometimes students with the code and all if you are if you are interested with her area of research you can definitely talk with her next is reinforcement learning or robotics so if you are interested to work in reinforcement learning and want to do research around it there are quite a few choices for you in iit bombay first of all professor sivaram from csc department again he is a associate professor uh, who is working on reinforcement learning area so he is a theoretical guy again he works on the theoretical part of reinforcement learning so if you are interested in 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 these areas you can talk with them and also in the aerospace department there are few professors who is working on rl and robotics one of them i have heard is harshad khalidkar uh, he he has completed his phd from mit and he has joined iit bombay and there i have heard there are few other professors also there in the aerospace department uh, so if you are interested in their area of resource you can obviously talk with them finally if you are interested in computer vision there are many choices for you in iit bombay first of all from csc department we have professor suesh p apte professor sarath chandan and professor parak choudhury 
so they are working on computer vision graphics and other areas and specifically their interest are image analysis medical image computing machine learning computer vision statistical modeling and inferences so these are professors you can you can talk with and you can check their profiles uh, if you are interested in computer vision on the other hand there is one professor that is professor biplok chatterjee from c minds uh, he also working on different aspects of deep learning techniques on image and video analysis and some of his uh, recent research topics are zero sort learning meta learning multi multi task learning domain adaptation transfer learning uh, you know multi modal analysis of remote sensing data deep reinforcement learning etc and and i have heard there are other professors is also there in the other departments like electrical department who is also working on a computer vision related area so there are quite a few choices for you uh, in iit bombay uh, if you are interested in uh, computer vision yeah so this was the list that i personally has found out and these are the professor that i personally feel they are doing quite a good research uh, in in their respective areas and i have heard there are other professors is also there in in different other uh, departments like electrical aerospace civil and all so i'll recommend you you can you can see the list of professors that is there in the, in the, in the c mind uh, department so c mind is actually a collaboration of different uh, departments who is working on machine learning in ai area so and and it's a, it's a kind of a, a hybrid department you can say where uh, professor from different uh, department they comes together and they are uh, taking students and they are you know like kind of running this particular department which is dedicated for machine learning and ai so i recommend you you can go and check the list of professor that is there in c minds and uh, whatever professor i told uh, the other professor that you will find they are also working on machine learning and ai areas and you can look into their uh, profiles and if you are interested in any of them you can directly contact them the only thing is that if you are from a specific department then maybe you have to find a uh, co guide or i don't know what is the procedure that you will have to think but it's it's very much possible that you can choose a guide from the other department and work under them so that's it about this video so please let me know uh, how you feel about this video as it said that uh, as you can see that you know in iit bombay in a specific department that is csc department only you will find all the choices from different areas of uh, machine learning which was not there in isc bangalore in isc bangalore uh, you have to go for different departments to get a professor for a particular thing so that's it about this video please let me know in know your comments in the comment section please like this video if you have liked it and let me know if you have any query uh, in the comment section so that i can i can reply them and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a video you will get instant notification that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye